Broadcasting live, KSLA News 12 at 5 starts now. The Shreveport Fire Department wants to hear good stories from all of you at home. They hope more people will start sharing their experiences with the department on their Facebook page. Now, the idea came about after one local woman created a post thanking three firefighters who saved her husband's life just a few weeks ago. In a story you'll see only here on KSLA, Miranda Whittington spoke to those firefighters and the family about everything leading up to that post. Life as a Shreveport firefighter brings different challenges every day. But their main goal is to try and save lives. And just a mile away from the Highlands Fire Station off Line Avenue, that's exactly what three Shreveport firefighters did. I don't have any recollection of what took place, where I ended up in the hospital or where the fire department came down to CPR or anything. Just a few weeks ago, Michael Lindsay was having chest pains, and as he was getting ready to go to the hospital, he suffered a heart attack. He was extremely blue, not breathing, no pulse. Fire Captain Tommy Anderson and his crew arrived and began performing CPR. We worked them for a while, and uh, we shocked them at least five or six times. Michael's wife Alexis was in New Orleans and rushed back to Shreveport when she heard the news. The doctor said, um, you know, he wasn't looking good, and did I, um, did he have, was he an organ donor, stuff like that, and I was telling them no. And I was like, I'm not going to believe what the doctors say. I know God got the final say so in everything. But just days after his heart attack, Michael made a full recovery. When he was released from the hospital, he couldn't remember what happened, but he did have one request. My only recollection is coming home, being at home, and wanting to meet the men that saved my life. And luckily for Michael, they already had plans to stop by. We've been driving by this gentleman's house for a while, you know, you know wanting to do it. Um, but earlier we were on scene of a pediatric cardiac arrest and we didn't make it. So all of our spirits, you know, were really down and we decided to drive by and knock on the door. And um, I didn't think he was going to open the door, honestly. And hey, he did. For me personally, uh, seeing him open the door, come to the door, that was a great feeling um, that he was able to go back to his family. Wow. That's, that's all I can say. Like, you know, it feels it feel good inside, but it's really hard to explain. How, how you feel, but it, it's a good feeling. Alexis was so excited to see the men that saved her husband's life that she decided to take a picture and share on Facebook what they had done. When people do things like this for you, I think it should be recognized. You save someone's life. They're just important as a, um, as a doctor. Because if they wouldn't have been here, then the doc, it wouldn't be nothing for the docs to do. We would be going to go see a coroner. Fires and EMS calls will continue to keep Daniel, Carlton, and Tommy pretty busy. But for Michael and his family, they're grateful these firefighters fought hard so that he could live to see another day. They didn't care what color I was. They saved my life, and I'm grateful to them no matter what color they are. And, it, it, and that was, the, to me, the photograph my wife took with me and those men really says a lot, love. Miranda Whittington, KSLA News 12. The firefighters say they plan to stop by and continue checking on Michael and his family. If you want to share a good story or message with the department, you can find a link to their page right now on our KSLA News 12 app.